Hi college, I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play the major five finger pattern, which is going to be part of your quarter one quarterly exam. You'll need to play the major finger pattern for C, D, E, F, and G. So just a quick review, right? We have our thumbs, one, two, three, four ring finger on both hands, and then your pinkies five. So the pattern is whole, whole, half, whole. I'm gonna put my thumb on C, and the reason why it's called a five finger pattern is because it uses each of the five fingers on your hand, and each one is in order, one, two, three, four, five, and then back down, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so this is my right hand, and this is the pattern for C major. I have a whole step. Another whole step, here's a half step, whole step, and then back down. The C pattern, finger pattern, is uh, all white keys, if you'll notice, right? So it's just one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. And then I have my left hand, of course. And my left hand is going to be opposite in fingering. Instead of one, two, three, four, five, it will be five, four, three, two, one. So I'm starting on the C with my pinky. And I'm going whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, and back down. Try that with me one more time. So then together, the C major five finger pattern would be So if you notice carefully, the only fingers that line up together are your, is your third finger on both hands. Because your right hand's going one, two, three, four, five, while your left hand goes five, four, three, two, one. So the threes line up right here on the E for this scale, this finger pattern. Remember, we want to keep our fingers nice and curved. We don't want to do this. It makes it really hard to play when you do this, because then you run into some other notes and things like that. And you don't want to overdo it like this, right? Just nice and relaxed, like a you can fit a tennis ball inside, OK? So that is C major. Now let's head up to D major. So I got to find the D right here, and I'm going to put my thumb on the D, and I'm going to remember the formula, which is whole step, another whole step, half step, whole step, and back down. Notice when I went for the F sharp, I sort of went in a little bit, so it's easy to reach. That's our right hand for the D five finger pattern in major. And our left hand, then we would do five, four, three, two, one. The D would be our fifth finger. And we'd go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, and back down. And you're going to want to practice hands separately and then put them together. Here's our threes. They're going to line up. So that's D major. Then we can head up to E and realize that a whole step from E is that. And then another whole step and then a half step, and then a whole step. And my fingers are right on top of these notes. So I can probably play this blindfolded because I'm just going by feel. I've positioned my fingers so they're hovering over each note to play so I'll know that I won't make any errors.
And there's our five finger pattern for our right hand for E. Our left hand, just simply reverse it. And hands together. right here and I've got a whole step, another whole step, a half step, and then a whole step. So that's my finger pattern for F. Lean in, lean in a bit, and our left hand is our pinky on F. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, back down, the same way you came up. And our hands together. that's going to be G. And here, if I'm here on F, all I'm going to do is just slide up a whole step. And now that's my new starting note. And we have whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, and back down. And my left hand, notice this is kind of like the C major when there's no black keys. Whole step, confused you. It's five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. That's it. All right. And hands together. All right. So now we're ready to play all of them without stopping. Hands together. In order, we'll do C first, then we'll do D, E, F, G. And I'll put on a little beat. Why not? at the end. That's a chord. Uh, you can if you want. That's totally okay. And that's about a good tempo that you want to do it at. Of course, you don't have to do it with a rock beat, but it's always fun to practice with that beat in the background. And now, just for a fun exercise activity, if you're advanced, maybe you can do this a la breve. And if you paid attention in class, you would know that a la breve means cut time. So, 2-2. Two, two. Here we go. The whole thing again. One.
today's video on the five finger patterns for major, C, D, E, F, G. Good luck and happy practicing college. Make it a great day.